Phantom is a smart contract platform that claims to solve the so-called blockchain dilemma. In the crypto world, there are three important factors, scalability, security, and decentralization. Till now, the common sense was that you need to focus on two when implementing a blockchain. The Phantom Foundation claims to be faster, more decentralized and more secure. They claim to solve the blockchain dilemma. All this should be possible through directed acyclic graphs or DAG, which we already know from other platforms like EO. The current price development in the last weeks from 50 cents to the all time high of $1.75 and the $175 million DeFi development incentive program to get the ecosystem development scene started looks very promising. Promising enough to have a closer look at the Phantom project. In this video, we will talk about what Phantom is, what problems they are trying to solve, how the technology and the team behind looks like. We will also crunch some numbers. Now, a little disclaimer. Maybe I look like one, but I'm not a financial advisor. That means you need to do your own research. I am providing informational and educational content around the topics blockchain and cryptocurrencies. My content can help you to get started doing your own research and make your own investment decision. My name is Leo and my mission is to inform and educate. I also want to document my journey around the topics entrepreneurship, performance like goal setting, habits and system building, no code and automation, lifestyle, which includes insights of our perpetual traveling or digital nomad lifestyle, and blockchain and cryptocurrency content. To get notified when I release a new video, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell. I also really would appreciate if you could watch the video till the end. What is Phantom? When Phantom was founded in 2018 in Korea by Dr. An the team wanted this crypto technology to become one of the primary building blocks of smart cities. The initial idea was to build an infrastructure for traffic management, smart home systems, healthcare and education. After the rise of decentralized finance, the Phantom team quickly adopted and pivoted to the DeFi space. Phantom decided to base their product on directed acyclic graphs, DAG algorithms to achieve asynchronous by Santi for tolerance. 2019 Phantom announced that they want to improve the interoperability of different blockchains by creating a multi-asset and cross-chain ecosystem. The moment there is a native Phantom token implementation and Ethereum ERC20 and the Binance Chain PAP2 token implementation. This decision makes it possible to integrate Ethereum applications on Phantom's Opera network. The main objective of, the, of Phantom was to create a lightweight network that solves the blockchain dilemma, and the team is claiming that they did so. Which kind of problems Phantom is trying to solve and how do solutions look like? In distributed ledger technologies, you have to balance between speed, security, and decentralization. Phantom's APFT consensus allows thousands of transactions to be processed asynchronously. Compared to the synchronous PFT ledger like Ethereum and Bitcoin, that leads to higher speed and increased throughput. Phantom achieves decentralization and security through a permissionless and leaderless consensus process. Problem one is issues of scalability. In existing blockchains, a single block is verified and stored at the time. The speed of each node limits the performance. The more transactions, the worse the performance. Phantom believes that a parallel approach is needed to solve that issue. The implementation of a DAG based consensus mechanism called is addressing this. I will explain the details later on. High fees are another problem. Various fees occur when exchanging value using the blockchain. Such fees are, for example, confirmation fees for blocking miners and the block reward itself. The fees secure the network against the tax. 
Phantom believes the fees in existing blockchains are too high for building a scalable and enduring blockchain. The Lachesis consensus protocol makes transactions much faster and cheaper while maintaining excellent security. The third issue is historic data. Blockchain only uses information stored in blocks. It cannot use outside information to verify prior transactions. This leads to a minimal functionality. Phantom believes storing historic information along with transactions inside the blockchain is critical. The Phantom solution makes it possible to manage historical data through story data. Let's check some details and the technology behind the Foundation. Phantom features two core technologies protocol, the core consensus layer providing security to multiple other layers, and Opera, an application development layer. Let's have a look at Opera application layer first. Phantom is using a unique technology called Opera. The Opera chain is a smart contract platform that is rapidly processing blocks on a large scale. Not only that, Opera is processing transaction information, story data in a distributed environment. In that way, the chain can store detailed historical information. The Opera chain is an EVM compatible application development layer. It supports smart contract development in Solidity and Viber. All contracts written in those languages are fully compatible with the Opera network and Phantom is currently working on their virtual machine, Phantom virtual machine, an interpreter and a database to achieve better performance and security results than even the Ethereum virtual machine. Opera features a proof of stake system that is leaderless. The Phantom validators down to determine which blocks are valid, which should increase the network security as well. Phantom Opera consists of three layers, Opera core layer, which is processing transactions on scale. In this layer, theoretically 300,000 transactions per second are processed. At the moment, we are at 4,500 in the mainnet and around 10,000 in the testnet. The Opera Bear layer supports smart contracts and other functionality and the Opera application layer, third party applications in uh, different industry verticals. That's enough on Opera for the moment. Let's talk about Lachesis asynchronous by sent and forterance consensus algorithms. The consensus mechanism is the core of the district technology. In a system where no central entity validates transactions, the consensus protocol ensures an agreement in the distributed network with all participants. Transactions are validated in a fully trustless way. Lachesis is faster, more secure, and more scalable. If you compare to the classical Nakamoto and the classical consensus uh, qualities, asynchronous participations have the freedom to process comments at different times. It's leaderless. None of the participants plays a specific role in block production. It's Byzantine for tolerant, supports one third of 40 nodes and still works and it's near instant finality, which means uh, transactions are confirmed in one to two seconds. Finality means that the transactions cannot be changed or reversed by any party. If you compare that to Bitcoin, which has a finality of 30 to 60 minutes or, or Ethereum with a few minutes, this can be really a game changer. Let's have a look at the Phantom FTM token. The category is clear, it's a smart contract platform token. It has implementations on the Binance chain, Ethereum chain, and the native token implementation. Genesis block date was 26th of December 2019. Let's have a look what you can the token use for. You can use it for on-chain governments. The on-chain governments mechanism is meant to support multiple proposals by any arbitrary number of members. You can delegate your votes to another user. Phantom uses a proposal template for all users to fill out and proposals can create it at any time. You can also run a validator node, which means that you need around 3.1 million FTM tokens to be able to run a validator node and then you can earn transaction fees and also epoch rewards. 
And yeah, at the moment, the API is around 11%. You can also delegate your phantom token and do staking. Users who don't have the FTM tokens to run their own node can delegate their token to an existing validator and earn the proportional staking transactions and network fees. The reward goes from 4 to 13% depending on the locking period of your choice. The minimum locking period is two weeks at the moment. You can also use your FTM token as a collateral on the Phantom DeFi network. How do the tokenomics look? Let's crunch some numbers. Max supply is around 3.175 billion. Circulating supply is 3.5 billion. Daily expected distribution till 2024 is around 700 million. Raised capital 2018 in two rounds was 40 million, 40% 40 allocated in public and private sales. Bonuses, the FTM has no vesting schedule. 15% of the tokens are for advisors with a free month lock. 10% are allocated to the founding team with an allocation feature of 24 month vesting period with monthly gifts. And 3.6 are allocated to strategic reserve. Those FDMs have no uh, vesting schedule. And 31.4 is reserved for staking rewards to be distributed daily until 2024. At the moment, the price is at $1.65. And the market cap is around 4 billion US dollars. So we still have great potential to go up here. Let's talk roadmap and events. The very promising point here is that the team is keeping up with the tight schedule. Till now, the team delivered and is meeting their own commitments. That's not always the case in the crypto world. The test net launch occurred in December 2018 and the main net launch in December 2019. There is no clear public timeline for 2021, but it seems the team is focusing on trying to build a strong developer community the 375 million DeFi incentive program for developers emphasizes this. If you're thinking to start developing on the Phantom ecosystem, here are a few facts. The Opera chain is an EVM compatible application development layer. It supports smart contract development in Solidity or Viber. All contracts written in those languages are fully compatible with Opera. Phantom is currently working with two universities to build a new Phantom virtual machine, interpreter and database to achieve better performance and security than the Ethereum virtual machine. If you are a developer, I think it's worth to have a look into the incentive program. The Phantom Foundation has a fully distributed team and is made up of engineers, scientists, researchers, designers, and entrepreneurs who share the same vision. The whole team, at the moment 44 team members, is distributed over the entire world, with most of them working from Korea, Australia, United States, and South Africa. The initial founder, Byuk Ik, is a Korean serial entrepreneur, but doesn't seem to be active in the project at the moment anymore. The team seems to be really great and doing a great job to fulfill their own commitments. Andre Kronje is also supporting the project as an advisor after the Phantom Foundation turned their focus towards DeFi use cases. Andre advised and helped promote Phantom's multi-chain efforts such as launching a Phantom's bridge to Ethereum. Overall, great team and keep up the great work. So what is the conclusion? Is there really a need for another layer one blockchain project? There are many cryptocurrency projects and blockchain solutions out there claiming that they are faster, cheaper, and more secure. The Phantom blockchain, based on tech technology and Lachesis consensus model, seems to have it all. Fast performance, low network fee, and a very secure model that is for tolerant still a 3% malicious nodes. The team is a good mixture of expertise, academic background, and people with entrepreneurial background. Even having a pivot from the Internet of Things focus to the DeFi space didn't negatively impact their timeline. The opposite is the case. The Phantom Finance DeFi suit seems to be very complete. 
they just are delivering, meeting their commitments and adjust the project to market needs, which is a great thing. In our opinion, their decisions to invent the interoperability of different blockchains by creating a multi-asset and cross-chain ecosystem is a great one. We share their vision that there will be not one blockchain left, but blockchains with different specialities will interact with each other. They already have an implementation of the BAB2 token and an ERC20 token. The complete compatibility to EVM allows the deployment of favorite Ethereum applications. The early integration of Chainlink and BAN protocol was a great decision to benefit from on-chain and off-chain data. Also, the speed and low fees should drive the adoption. The incentive program for developers should bring enough developers to the chain to have more real-world products and use cases natively on the Phantom blockchain. Compared to other smart contract block platforms, the market capitalization is at 3.8 billion at the moment, which is really low. Comparable platforms like Ethereum with a market cap of 415 billion, Cardano of 88 billion, Solana 55 billion and Avalanche's eight seem to be in reach in the following years, which would bring the FTM token forecast to 15 to 100x or the price to 22 to 150 dollars for one FTM token. What about the risks? The roadmap for 21 is not totally clear, but it's not a huge issue in my opinion. They will just adopt the developers. Focus on Afghanistan with the use case uh, was a setback for sure after the Taliban took over. Only one third of 40 nodes are allowed in their uh, system. Is this really secure? I think yes. At the moment, it's a bit hard to be a full uh, network validator since there are really high staking requirements. What are the potentials? The potentials are significant adoption through compatibility with EVM, SushiSwap and Curve are already available. The partnership with RAN project to build cross-chain bridges between different blockchains is a great thing. There are excellent partnerships like with Travala, a crypto travel platform and other products. The 375 developer incentive program for DeFi developers is great. Cooperations with governments like Pakistan, Tajikistan and previously Afghanistan are great initiatives. Same amount of transaction on the Phantom network were happening like on the Ethereum network in beginning of September already. A price of $22 per FTM to up to $150 per FTM seems to be totally possible in the next month and years. We will have a close look at how the FTM network is developing and we already added it to our own crypto portfolio. Enjoy, stay weird and do your own research. If you enjoyed today's video, it would help me and the channel to do following three things. Smash the like and the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified when a new video is released. If you didn't get enough of me and my content, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook for updates around my favorite topics. For email updates, visit www.weirdo.rocks and leave your email address. Thanks for watching and see you soon again.